just came here today to just bless every single father in the house and to give y'all what I call my Father's Day message. I want fathers, the men, you are a father and you need to understand today is your day. Today is the day you gave life into this world. I understand that many people don't think that you're relevant, but I came here to tell you today that you are the most relevant person on the face of this earth. I don't care if you're the biological daddy. I don't care if you're the granddaddy. I don't care if you're the step daddy. I don't care if you are the God daddy or you are just being the mentor on life of daddy. You better understand today of all days that in every man there is life. Let me help some of my brothers right here, right now. You got to understand, fellas, that a woman's womb is dead. Let me say it again. A woman's womb is dead until you put life into her. When you put life into her is when the womb becomes alive. That means, my brothers, you are a man that brings life into this world. You are the man that brings structure into this world. You are the one that brings order into this world. You are the most important person in this world. So don't you let no one belittle your mind, belittle who you are, belittle who you supposed to be. Be renewed by the renewing of your mind so that you can prove by your life who you really are. Now I am fully aware of some of the issues that takes place in the sense of fathers being recognized. So let me address some of those issues. My brothers, there are many great fathers out here. We don't require nothing but love and respect of who we are. But some of you, maybe you've been separated from your kids. And Uncle Stu understands that. But I need you to know you are a not a deadbeat father. Let me say it again. You are not a deadbeat father. Why? Because death does not lie in you. Only life relies in you. Therefore, if you was dead, you couldn't produce life. So you got to understand you can never be a deadbeat father because the deadbeat can't produce life. Therefore, if you produce life, you are a man who is alive. Let me help some of you brothers who might be saying, but Uncle Stu, I grew up without a father. It is written that the sins of the father does not pass down to the son. Therefore, do not be mad at your father. Be renewed by the renewing of your mind and recognize your father gave you life. Your father gave you the ability to be a better man than he may have been, to be more educated than he may have been, to be more successful than he may have been, but he gave you a second chance to be better than every man in the past. You have the ability to be the best father you could be. You have the ability to rise up where maybe he couldn't rise up. You have the ability to be financially successful where he may not have been financially successful. You are the ones that can produce what maybe your father couldn't produce, but because he had life, he was able to put that life into you. A man is the only one that could produce enough life to populate a whole nation. So you must understand, my brothers, how important you are. Let me address this. I know that some women would like to call you the sperm donor. Let's deal with that issue. You could never be a sperm donor. Let me explain. Because if you look up the word donor, 
Most people is going to donate where? They donate to a food bank. They donate to a nonprofit organization. They donate to charity. So the next time a woman want to call you a sperm donor, call her a charity case. Because let me help some of you brothers out. You can never be the man you need to be if you seeking women that are nothing but a bunch of charity cases. Don't let no woman put you down. Don't let no woman talk you down. Rise up today and be the man that God created you to be. You are never going to be a sperm donor. That means she's calling herself a charity case. But you got to remember, if it wasn't for you, she couldn't have life come into her womb. So I need you brothers to rise up, stand up, and be the man that God called you to be.